Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, April the 27th, 2018. And today, in our Tech News Update, we have Windows 10 April 2018 update. The name is official. Microsoft has finally opened up and talked about it today. It will be called the April 2018 update. And it's coming very soon, this coming Monday, April the 30th. So this coming Monday, you'll have the rollout that's going to start on some machines. And of course, the update to the uh, media creation tool and the update tools. And of course, we'll talk about all of that in separate videos. So uh, they wanted to make the cut to April. So this coming Monday. If you were waiting for iTunes, after more than a year, iTunes has finally arrived in the Microsoft Store. It is the same exact version that you have if you have the desktop version because it's simply taking the um, bridge to port desktop apps to the Microsoft Store. So basically it's the same thing, except that it downloads from the store and installs from the store. It is quite huge, almost half a gigabyte, which I think is way too big for such a piece of software. But it is there after more than a year after it's been announced. And it's a, a big milestone for Windows 10. If you are a Ubuntu fan, the controversial 18.04 version of Ubuntu has been released after some delays. I've installed it on my uh, Linux laptop and of course playing around with it. So I'll be giving my little personal details of what I think about it on the Easy Computer Fixes channel if you wanna learn more. I'll probably also have some tips and tricks on that channel also for the uh, Linux version. So you can check that out if you are a Linux fan. And of course, this uh, new version of Ubuntu as a major departure, it changes a lot of things. And this is the new long-term service version. So it will be supported until 2023. And Microsoft reported strong earnings. Year-over-year -year revenue growth is uh, on the increase once again. It's very good at $26.8 billion for the quarter. And everything is pretty much up. Surface up, Azure up, Xbox up, Office up, shines a lot also. And even Windows up. So uh, Microsoft has every reason to be happy. Well, this is a picture that was posted on Twitter of Microsoft's Panos Panay, and this is his office desk. Now, it has the internet fired up all over the blur on the right side of the screen, where people are saying, what is that? Could it be a new Windows phone? Well, we know one thing about Panos Panay, as we are getting into build soon. Panos Panay has always posted these pictures of teasers of what could be coming to the uh, you know new devices and well we'll see what's gonna happen and we'll maybe know what behind what's behind that blur on this picture as we'll know more at build coming up in just a little over a week from now well if you are a fan of the airport routers from Apple say goodbye. They are discontinued and Apple says they're not going to make any more app or airport, airport extremes and time capsules. They're going to be discontinued. There's still some available so you can buy some if you need one, but it's going away. Apple does say it's not necessarily totally over for routers, but for now, uh, yes. But if they do find a way to actually bring back routers in another way, they'll bring them back. Well, a new report says that we have to stop thinking it won't happen and we got to really do something and everyone should be concerned about the Russian invasion of Internet of Thing devices that basically they're hacking into and that will at some point create havoc that will create uh, problems in the near future to the Internet and even utility companies. They say that if you think that will not happen, you're a fool apparently iOS 11 adoption rate is uh, not bad at 76% of iPhones now upgraded to iOS 11, which is way better than Android anyway. But it does show that the number, even if it looks good on paper, is less than the adoption rate of iOS 10 for the same time. 
and uh, Apple might be or should be worried a little bit. It seems that the iPhone users are less inclined to go to the latest versions and one of the reasons why was there's too many bugs and there were too many bugs in the last in the past few versions. So uh, that's kind of an interesting uh, look on it and you know shows that Apple isn't all beautiful and nice. Well a survey that came out says that gaming used to be quite geeky at some point. Well now a survey says that it's changed. The image of a gamer or gaming is now a cool thing. It's now cool to be gaming, it's now cool to be a gamer, and working in a gaming environment is really, really cool. And that is a big change in the way people uh, see gamers, as, of course, gamers were for a long time very geeky persons. And finally, Samsung results are showing amazing revenue growth. Uh, the chip side, because Samsung does make a lot of chips for devices around the world, is amazing. But there's a little problem. It seems that the phone side might be struggling a little more in the next uh, year or so as the smartphone sales are slowing down and it actually impacts the revenue of Samsung on the smartphone side of things. So this is going to be interesting to watch. And this was the Tech News Update for Friday, April 27th, 2018. You enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.